Hey gang, guess what? I've got some more Binding of Isaac content for you coming up, and I'm guessing that you know what that means. It is time for more subscriber shoutouts and channel updates, because this is the way I like to kill two birds with one stone. I love doing Binding of Isaac. Okay, three birds with one stone. I love playing Binding of Isaac. I know that you guys like to see it on the channel, and I like to put some on the channel every once in a while, and it just seems like a great way for me to get news across because it's something that I find I'm pretty comfortable with the game at this point so it's pretty easy for me to play and talk at the same time and I kind of switch off between um, doing the, re the audio recording after the game or sometimes doing it during the game and this time I am doing during so we'll see how that goes and we're gonna go with Kane I like Kane in general he's pretty cool uh, let me turn my audio up a little bit because this these beats are bumping. All right, so let's get into channel updates. Maybe I'll do one quick room first just to kind of get into the swing of things, and then we'll get into the updates. I just contradicted myself right away because I realized that that would be a better idea. Okay, get out of here, guy. Beard fly. Come on, beard fly. There we go. Kill you. If you leave these little regular... Oh, gosh. <laughs> if you leave these little guys alive too long, sometimes they'll turn into the bigger bearded flies, which is not good. I didn't believe that for the longest time until I saw it happen. Alright, so, channel news. What is going on with the channel known as YouTube slash user slash Cthulhu2? Um, this will be the State of the Union as of... crap, what day is it today? <laughs> it is Thursday. October... wow. October something. It's Thursday, early October. I don't pay very much attention, so deal with it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so recently, my first full LP of a non-Minecraft type game, I mean full as in there's a start and a finish to it, it's not just ongoing. Uh, the first LP like that finished very recently. That was Call of Cthulhu dark corners of the earth and first off I would just like to thank everybody who really enjoyed that series and who watched it and who supported it I would like to thank you guys so much it was a oh, wow sloppy play it was a lot of fun for me to record uh, I hadn't done a first-person shooter game period in a long time much less record it this is an amazing item bloody lust aka rage the more creatures I kill in a room, the more damage I get for that room. So yeah, it was the first game like that that I'd ever done on the channel, and hadn't played... Oh, yes. Hadn't played an FPS period in quite some time. So it was a lot of fun on both those fronts. The game itself was pretty glitchy towards the end, and I know the game wasn't uh, everybody's cup of tea. It wasn't my most popular series on my channel, but uh, it was a lot of fun, and the people who enjoyed it did seem to really enjoy it. So thank you so much for that support. Um, if you haven't checked it out, if you are a very new subscriber or you just didn't feel like giving it a chance before, I would ask you to give it a chance now. I will have a link in the description to the playlist I've put together for Dark Corners of the Earth. If, ah, I'm, I'm gonna die here. <laughs> I am going to die on the basement one because I am being so derpy right now. But anyway, I would I would love it if you guys give it a chance. If it's just not your cup of tea, if you're not feeling it, I'm not going to hold it against you. You don't have to watch it. But I would like it if you at least tried it out, because maybe you'll be surprised. And you'll think, oh man, this game is awesome. It's so bad, it's good, and it's so retro and awesome. And it's, it's Cthulhu stuff. It's Lovecraftian. What's not to love, right? <laughs> anyway, so that finished up fairly recently. Um, as of this video going up, my CTP, uh, Cthulhu 2 and Proxy LP of Uncharted Territory 3, should be very near completion. I believe we only have like three or four episodes that still need to air. That LP has been a lot of fun. Uh, we were planning on doing both that and Legendary because we had started with Legendary before UT3 came out, but uh, obviously that is not the case now. We just didn't have time for it. Um, different time zones, plus Proxy was going off to university, and just too much stuff going on. So we did have to put Legendary on hold, even though that will be coming back again in the future. Um, but yes, UT3 will be finishing up soon. I would say that has definitely been my most popular series. I know you all love Proxy, 
It's a lot of fun doing videos with her. And um, you guys really seem to enjoy that LP. And I really appreciate all the love and support from that. Um, do I want to bum in there? Actually, I have quite a lot of keys. Let's go ahead and get the item from the item room and then we'll move on to the boss. So yeah, UT3, that'll be finishing up fairly soon. And make sure that you check out the finale of UT3 because there may be a little bit of news that you guys will be interested in. It's something that we've teased in other uh, UT3 episodes and something I've teased in, I believe, well, it, it was the reason for my last giveaway contest, the thing that I'm teasing right now. So, if you want to finally get some closure on what I've been trolling y'all about lately, make sure you watch the... Oh, I should have put the bomb on the other side. I should have put it right here, because then that would have been able to check if there's a secret room and blown up the rock. Noob move there. <laughs> oh, the damage. Um, so yeah, if you guys want some closure on the trolliness, make sure to check out the finale of Uncharted Territory 3 with PMS Proxy. Uh, should I get this golden chest? Screw it, why not? Um, so that's that's pretty much what's ending on the channel shortly. That was dumb. I'll play it once and then blow it up. Oh, okay. I'm alright with that. And let's see if we can also get a secret room here. You never know. Aha! That makes up for my past folly. And I got a key, and now I've got this item that is basically a free, high-powered poison bomb. I never use this unless it's the only item available, like it is right now, so I'm going to use it. And if I can get a good hit on the boss, it should do a decent amount of work. Or I could get a free key. <laughs> free key. Okay, actually, if I can get a decent hit on this guy, it'll basically be like a one-hit kill. Although I'm worried that the flies are going to uh, protect... Oh no! Oh, double fail! Oh, oh, why am I on YouTube? Oh, oh, I need to go uninstall the game. <laughs> I got hit by a fly, well, twice now, I think, and I completely biffed that bomb because I got hit by a fly and I freaked out. Oh, the shame. Oh, <laughs> don't look at me. Anyway. Ooh. I want, I want the mark so bad. I can't remember exactly what stats it upgrades. I always get the Mark and the Pact confused. I think the Pact might be damage, and the Mark might be... Um... Shot speed... Or not shot speed, like... Tears... Tear rate... Among other things. I don't know. I'm getting it anyway, because I like it. No, I think that was a straight damage upgrade. I think I might have got the two mixed up yet again. Alright, I don't want to go to the shop. Yep, nothing else to do on this floor. All right, so those are the series that are ending. Now, as far as the series that are starting, I figured you guys might be interested to know a little bit about that. Um, it's not, I can't really consider it starting, more like ongoing, but Eldritch is a new series for me. I'm not doing a ton of Eldritch content on the channel, but uh, it's a game I definitely enjoy, and I do like showing it off on the channel every once in a while, and uh, it has gotten a lot of love from you guys. So thank you so much for that. And not only for showing me love for the game, but uh, showing love for the game in general via uh, Steam Greenlight and whatnot. Um, I know you. some of you guys have been, uh, have been showing it support that way. No, it missed. I want to angle a shot. Oh, they're closing in. Angle a shot. Angle a shot. Ha! Yeah! <laughs> ah! I hate these rooms there. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I follow Eldritch on Twitter and uh, the Pittman Brothers on Twitter, the creators of Eldritch, and they were saying recently that it did get greenlighted. Green, green lit. <laughs> it, it got enough votes on Steam Greenlight that it got through the process. And I know that some of you guys helped out with that, so thank you so much. I'm really glad to hear that some guys are able to make their own game and really get it out there, and I hope and really do feel like that game will have a lot of success. So thank you again so much for helping out with that in any way you could. So that'll still be coming up on the channel every once in a while. Um, just doing a couple runs of the game. I have beaten it by now. I believe my final episode, my first run, has yet to go up yet. So spoilers, I beat the game. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll definitely be doing more runs in the future. Just kind of off and on as I feel like it. 
Yeah, bad spot. Um, so that's Eldritch. And then also, by now, the teaser for my next full LP has gone up, and uh, you guys have given that a lot of love as well. That is Telltale Games, The Walking Dead. I'm so excited for that series to start. It's a game that I... I'm, well, first off, it's a franchise that I love. I haven't... I, I, okay, full disclosure, I haven't actually read the graphic novels for The Walking Dead. Um, to her credit, my wifey is currently reading them, which impresses me. Um, so yeah, I, maybe I'll get to those in the future. I have heard that the TV show is actually better from a number of people. Okay, time to redeem yourself, Cthulhu. Time to redeem yourself. No! What? No! I thought at least... Oh, I thought at least he would get some splash damage on him. <laughs> In my defense, I almost never use Bob's Rotten Head, so that's why I'm so dreadfully terrible with it. Plus, I'm a derp. There we go. I am just shredding everything, though. At least this early on in the game. Uh, Magic 8 Ball sucks, but I'll take it. So yeah, I haven't actually read the graphic novels, but I love the TV show. Um, can't wait for the next season to start up soon, and I love the game. And actually, that should have another season coming up fairly soon as well. So, um, with my LP, I have pre-recorded the entire Season 1 of the game already. I just finished recording the last game episode uh, recently. So that is all ready to go, it's all scheduled and everything like that. So, for me, it's going to be really nice. Um, now, the one thing I don't like about it is it doesn't really give you guys a chance to give me uh, pertinent feedback about the series. But let me give you the reasoning for why I did that. First off, with a game like The Walking Dead, where it's all about the choices you make on the spot, you guys wouldn't be able to give me very useful feedback anyway, because by the time you see the video, I would have already made the decisions. And I wouldn't want you guys telling me about future decisions, because those are spoilers, and nobody likes spoilers. Oh, you little jerk butt. Unbelievable. So that's, those two reasons are why I decided to go ahead and do everything ahead of time. Uh, plus, it's, it's just a lot easier for me. I can play it on my own time, and I don't have to worry about deadlines and stuff. And then once it is done, I can go ahead and work on other things while those episodes are going up. So to me, it seems like a good way to go. We'll see how it actually works out. I'll ob obviously still be checking out comments and replying to as many as I can, things of that nature. Um, but it will be a little different than other series. But regardless, I'm really excited for that to come out. Um, it, at this point, it looks like it's going to be an every other day release schedule. And uh, go check me out on Twitter because I like to ask questions about uh, this type of thing and get feedback from you guys. Um, I just recently asked what timing you guys would like the episodes to go up on um, in relation to Uncharted Territory 3. So for that series, Oh, ouch. That was dumb. I was releasing those, Proxy and I were releasing those, around 2, 2 p.m. my time, which is Central Standard Time in the United States. Um, I'm not exactly sure how that relates to all of you guys. So, whenever that would go up for you, let me know if you like that timing or if you would prefer um, The Walking Dead to come out earlier in the day or later in the day. And I will try to go with whatever is the most popular answer. And you can have a tooth, sir. <laughs> I love that. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and use that. Uh, so yes, so follow me on Twitter so you get those kind of questions. Um, I'm Cthulhu2 on Twitter. Should be pretty easy to find me. And uh, feel free to let me know what you think, uh, what you would prefer. So as of right now, I have it going up in the evening for me every other day. And I'm, I'm definitely open to tweaking that release schedule for The Walking Dead. We'll see how things play out. Yes, that is the big news for what is coming out on the channel soon. Um, I also have some other stuff in the works. Um, I'm working on a secret project uh, with my good buddy, Amazing Blue Chip. We've got some stuff coming out uh, probably towards the end of October. We don't have a set plan for that just yet, but that's kind of what we're thinking. So that should be coming out before too terribly long. Um, I have some other collaborations planned out here and there, and you'll just kind of see those popping up at the, on the channel at random. Seemingly at random, at least. And I'll get some free cash here. 
And then another big piece of news for what's coming up that I'm getting pretty excited about, and I think a number of you will be as well, is I will be returning to the Night Owl Mine <sighs> Minecraft server. Son of a... Oh, pay attention, Cthulhu. Stop talking about Night Owl. Anyway, uh, so for those of you who are new to the channel, you probably aren't aware, uh, way back in the day, I used to be a member of a Minecraft server called Knights of the Square Table. It was a lot of fun. That was my first time doing any real like Minecraft multiplayer stuff. And it was a great experience. It was run by a dude known as TinyBat111, who I still do stuff with. And uh, it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of people. There was a decent amount of turnover. People would join and then leave and then join and then leave. And there was a falling out one time and we got a bunch of new people. And then there was another falling out. And a bunch of those new people the second time around are the ones that started up the Night Owl server. And at that point, I decided to, uh, to follow them along and join up with them. And you can go back and watch some other channel update videos if you want the full story. But basically, at the time, I, I thought that Night Owl would be a heck of a lot of fun. And it is a lot of cool people, but at that time, I was just really burned out with vanilla Minecraft and the thought of completely starting over on a new server and doing all the grindy work of Minecraft, it just did not appeal to me at all. So I stepped down from the server um, with the hopes that maybe I would go back eventually. And I think the timing is right now. Um, End Effect, really cool guy, member of the server, he talked me back into coming on board again uh, once 1.7 came out, because there's going to be a lot of new world generation stuff and just new content in general. So that is the plan as of now, is that once 1.7 comes out, I will start doing Night Owl stuff again. And it's not going to be a super regular thing on the channel. Oh man, these pills. Yes. Yeah, it won't be super regular, but I do definitely want to get more SMP content on the channel, because when I was still doing Knights of the Squared Table, that was probably my most popular series on the channel. A lot of people have come to the channel for Minecraft content, and I want to make sure to keep bringing that to you guys. So, yes, Night Owl will be back uh, once 1.7 comes out. Score! And one thing I really want to do with that is uh, have a one-on-one -on -one episode with every member of the server. Just bit by bit, because there's a lot of new people that have joined since I left, and just a lot of people that I didn't really get a chance to do much with before for one reason or another. So that's one thing, and then that way you guys can get to know all the members of the Night Owl server and see the crazy stuff they're working on, because there is some really cool stuff happening on the server. Really cool. So I really hope you guys will enjoy that. Um, both of these items suck, so I will move on along. And yeah, I'm ready to go down to the next floor. So yes, that is the new stuff coming to the channel. More Eldritch, Walking Dead coming up, Secret Project with Amazing Blue Chip, some random collaborations here and there, and then eventually a return to the Night Owl server. Um, okay. What do we want to talk about next? Oh, I know. One thing that I am doing... Uh, that was a terrible move. I'm playing so badly. I'm getting amazing items and stuff, but I'm playing so badly that if I wasn't getting amazing stuff, I probably would have died by now. But anyway. One project that I am working on that is a, uh, a recent idea of mine that I've been having a lot of fun with is I am making my own Minecraft custom map. It's something that I've kind of thought about and toyed with for a good number of months now and I just never really got around to starting it. But because of you know some series finishing up and me getting the whole Walking Dead series all pre-recorded and ready to go, that's going to free up a lot of time for me YouTube-wise. So, I'm pretty sure that now is a good time for me to do this. Oh gosh. And since it's my first attempt... Will you quit hopping around, you jerk faces? Since it's my first attempt, I'm going to start off fairly small. Um, it's going to be a puzzle map, and it's going to be just one room. And the puzzles will kind of... You'll, you'll be able to unlock them incrementally. So, like, you'll be able to find certain materials that allow you to craft a certain item that you can then use to unlock more stuff, and so on and so, oh, excuse me, so on and so forth. Um, so nothing crazy, nothing, uh, what do you want to call it? Yeah, squish them! <laughs> nothing revolutionary, I guess would be the word, 
but I'm having a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys will like it. Um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, and then one thing to, to make it a little more special is I am going to try to come up with a custom resource pack for it. So textures and a decent number of sounds too. I want to go with a horror theme to it. It will be fairly Lovecraftian because that's that's how I roll and playing Call of Cthulhu really got me into that mode. So it will be horror related and uh, I'll probably work in some jump scares and stuff. You know, things like that just to spice it up a little bit. And I've, I've found a couple of really cool map making ideas by looking around and I've come up with some cool ideas on my own. At least I think they're cool. <laughs> we'll see how it works out. Um, so this is another reason for you guys to follow me on Twitter because I'll be doing updates every once in a while on what I'm doing with the map and uh, there, there may be some little hidden things here and there that you guys might get a kick out of if you can catch on to them and pay attention to what's going on with those map updates. Maybe something in it for you, just saying. Wink wink, nudge nudge. So yeah, a, a puzzle map, I don't have a name for it as of yet. Um, I've actually done most of the building for it so far, and like setting up the different puzzles, and a lot of the work that remains is just going to be the textures and the sounds and stuff like that, which I'm very... Uh, the sounds shouldn't be too hard, but the textures, I'm not a very artistic person, so that may take a little while, and I may have to get help from people here and there. Who knows? Yeah, follow me on Twitter so you can get updates about my custom map that I'm working on. Hopefully that won't take too much longer to get out to you folks and uh, at least start beta testing or something like that. I'll definitely be looking for beta testers. Okay, that's not the ideal item, but uh, it's not terrible either. And uh, let's see if we can find the shop and maybe accumulate enough cash to actually go shopping. Ugh, these guys. So, um, switching focus for a second from updates to the game, I'm doing crazy amounts of damage. Considering I started with two heart containers, I am doing, I'm getting, oh gosh, a crazy amount of health. Despite all the really stupid damage I'm taking, I still have spirit hearts off the screen, which is amazing. Uh, I don't have a great spacebar item yet, but what I have is, is doing work for me. It's sufficing. It's useful in its own way. Point. And yeah, things are going really well in the run right now, I've got to say. Let's take care of these little gut balls. Alright, so what else do I have to talk about? I talked about series that are ending, series that are starting, talked about my custom map I'm trying to work on. Um, oh, one other thing. I would like to mention some of the old series that I've had uh, on the channel for a while now that a lot of you may not uh, know about. Because there have been a decent number of new subscribers, and unless you are like really into YouTube and you like, love watching videos and you're digging around through my old videos, uh, you're probably not going to find out about them. So I'd like to do just do a little little blurb about them right now. And uh, the thing that made me think of that is uh, a recent subscriber goes by the name of Mr. Blood Drunk Reaper, Blood Drunk Blood Drunk Reaper. Uh, he had pointed out that the very first episode of my Great Survival Maze playthrough was not playing anymore for some reason. I have no idea why that was. Um, I didn't have the video backed up anymore, so I had the worst time trying to get that thing off of YouTube because it was it was there, but it would play for one second and then end, and it was really weird. So thankfully, I was able to get that up again. So it's on the channel, and uh, I just re-released that recently, and a lot of people seem to enjoy it, even though <laughs> it was a very early series of mine, so the mic quality was terrible, and I was still just really new at YouTube in general. But even so, you guys seem to enjoy that. So um, I will have a link to the playlist for The Great Survival Maze if you guys want to check that out. Like I said, it's very old, but you might get a kick out of, of seeing it anyway. Uh, it's a map that's made by my now good buddy, Ryder Tyler. Um, that's the way we met, is I found his map on the forums, and I played it, and we got to know each other because of that, and he's been sticking around with me on the channel ever since, and uh, he was on the Knights of the Square Table server with us for a little bit. So yeah, Ryder Tyler, really cool guy. Um, I still have a really good opinion of that map, even though it's uh, fairly old as far as custom maps are concerned now almost a year old I'm guessing 
But yeah, it was a lot of fun to play. And uh, definitely check out the videos if that sounds interesting to you guys. Or if you saw that uh, re-upload of episode 1 recently. I'm going to go ahead and drop a 2 here, see what happens. I, I run into a bad guy, that's what happens. Uh, there we go. And then some other series I would like to shamelessly advertise for just a second. Uh, the Commander Keen series. Now, most of you, I'm guessing, are unfamiliar with Commander Keen. What Commander Keen is, is an awesome game franchise. It started in the late 1980s, so when I was a wee young lad, and continued on into early 1990s for a little bit. There's like six Commander Keen games, and uh, I'm going to try to blow this up. My intent was to play through the entire series for YouTube because yep, because it was a series of games that is near and dear to my heart. It was a big part of my childhood, kind of the first video games that I ever really got into. And I did it fairly early in the lifespan of my channel before I had many of you awesome new subscribers. And it not a lot of people were very interested in it, so I didn't continue it at the time. I got through the first three games of the series. And I just realized I came into this mom boss fight without checking out the store first, which is definitely a mistake. I wasn't really thinking that one through. But anyway, I would love it if now that uh, a bunch of you new people have joined the channel, if you could give that a try and see if you like it. Um, if enough people like the games, the series in general, I would love to finish off the last couple games in the series. Um, I haven't played them in a long time, and it would be a lot of fun for me to go back through that and Hopefully you guys would enjoy seeing that. So again, link in the description to that playlist for my Commander Keen games. I believe there's only 10 episodes in the series, so it's a, it'd be a pretty quick watch if you guys want to give that a try. But it may be up your alley, kind of a retro game. It's a bit of a platformer, um, pretty nifty. There are a lot of pop culture references to Commander Keen nowadays if you, if you know where to look for them. Minecraft itself has a reference, a pretty big reference to uh, Commander Keen. Um, if you are familiar with the enchanting system in Minecraft, when you go to enchant an item, all the random weird characters that are showing up when you can choose what level to put on an item, that is all written in the standard, or er, is it standard galactic or galactic standard alphabet? Something like that. <laughs> and that is a, a full-fledged alphabet that comes from the Commander Keen games. So, the more you know. Anyway, so there's a there's a little uh, trivia that you might find interesting. Let's, so yeah, so give that a try. If you don't like it, again, it won't hold it against you, but I'd love to see if people uh, would want to see more of that game. And also, I already mentioned the old Knights of the Square Table server I was a part of. You can go check out that series as well. There's like 20 something episodes in that playlist, and I had a lot of fun on the server. Um, there was a lot of cool people there, so give that a try if you like uh, Minecraft vanilla SMP stuff. A lot of content there. And then lastly, if you would really like to see some old school Cthulhu 2 content, um, I have a playlist of all of the custom map reviews I did back when I was first starting. So if you enjoy <laughs> poor mic quality, no, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, if you just want to see how I started out and the kind of stuff I was doing when the channel was still a brand new baby, you can go check out the, the custom maps playlist. And there's like 60-something videos there. Um, so, yeah, those are all available. I will have links in the description to make it that much easier for you. Um, I do have other playlists out there that uh, you can feel free to check out if you just go to the videos page and then you can choose to see playlists instead of videos. And there may be some stuff buried down in there from... Uh, a number of months ago that you may not be aware of or you may be more interested in now than you were in the past. Who knows? All right, what else do we want to chat about now? Ooh, how about fan art? So, thank you so much to those of you who have been making fan art recently. It's kind of a, a newer development for me, uh, being a small YouTuber, and it's been a lot of fun getting random fan art from you guys. Uh, Jasper Mackenbach has definitely been kind of leading the pack as far as fan art goes. He's done a number of submissions? <laughs> nah, a number of pieces of art that I've gotten a real kick out of receiving. It's so much fun. 
Um, I, I am going to plan on collecting everything I receive and then maybe doing a special spotlight video to just show off the different bits of fan art that I've received. Um, most of them so far have been revolved around the Uncharted Territory 3 LP that's going on and almost finishing. Um, and uh, let's see, who else has submitted? Jasper, or no, I already mentioned Jasper Mackenbach. He's submitted at least three pieces so far. And then um, Asmo slash the five numbers. He's done a really great piece of artwork that um, it was me and I think Rock and Roll for Life and Amlop and Proxy and Vetches and Rosie. And then I believe... Was it him that was also in the fan art, or was it some other YouTuber I wasn't familiar with? One of the two. But there was a bunch of us in there, and it was awesome. Um, if you look at my channel banner, you will see myself. Uh, I had Wifey cut me out so I could use it as a uh, little channel art like that. Um, so that was really cool to, to look at. And then also, King Cater, he has done some fan art as well. And I know a number of other people have offered to do fan art, which I would love to see. Uh, Cater did, uh, I should mention, his fan art was based off of something that happened in UT3 as well. It was quite a funny, uh, <laughs> oh, oh gosh, quite a funny occurrence, um, thanks to PMS Proxy. <laughs> I, I'm sure if you've watched that series, then you're aware of what I'm talking about, because I'm pretty sure we featured it in an episode. And that's the thing, like, no matter what kind of fan art you guys send in, I mean, as long as it's clean... No matter what you send in, I'll probably end up featuring it in one way or another, just because I get such a kick out of it. I really do. I'm way too easy to please. And I have literally, I mean this seriously, literally zero artistic talent. So if you're like, oh, I don't want to do any fan art because I'm not very good at art, you're better than I am. I guarantee it. Oh, come on, man. Why'd you mess up? So yeah, don't be don't be afraid of that. I have, I have very low standards. <laughs> um, when it comes to art, because I I feel pretty proud of myself if I can make a stick figure. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab Spirit of the Night, because I like to fly, and Spectral Tears is nice, too. And we have lots of healths. So yes, thank you to those three guys who have submitted fan art, and thanks ahead of time for anyone else who has already planned to, or would now like to, because I've mentioned it. Like I said, any and all fan art is, I just get a kick out of, it's appreciated, so feel free. Bring it on. Alright, so those are all the update type things I wanted to go over, and now I think we should do some subscriber shoutouts. Now one thing I have to apologize for, I hate saying this, but I actually lost a lot of the names of new subscribers that I had been putting together. So, I have it set up so that every time I get a new subscriber, YouTube sends me an email about it. And then every once in a while, I'll go through those new emails and I'll just kind of um, compose a list of those. So then I can get those emails out of my inbox um, to prevent things from getting cluttered up too often. So, I did that a while ago. I got a bunch of the new subscribers listed down and I saved it off into a file. And I don't know if I accidentally deleted the file or if I didn't save it or what. I have looked all over my computer for this dang file. It had maybe 20 something new subscribers listed on it. and I just can't find it. So to those 20 of you, I don't know who you are because I lost the list, but I apologize. So if you don't hear yourself in this upcoming subscriber shout out that I'm about to do in a couple of seconds here, if you don't hear yourself now, and if you haven't been uh, mentioned in past subscriber shoutouts, please, please, please let me know in the comment section and I will make sure to catch you next time. Plus, I just, I want to make sure I know who's hanging around because I would like to get to know you people. So, I apologize for that. It's never happened before. I don't know how it happened. I'll try to be more careful with that in the future. So the number of subs that I have to do shoutouts for now is much smaller than it would be because they're only the ones that have come through uh, between now and when I made that list and lost that list. <laughs> so that being said, let's say hi to some of the new subscribers to my channel. Um, in no particular order. We have Bigfoot Epicness, Yoru Hitori, Martin K. Mr. Atomic MC, I assume that's a reference to Minecraft, or maybe he's like MC Hammer or something like that, who knows. 
I mean, he's got parachute pants. Okay, let me, let me kill this guy and then I'll read off some more names. We have Rage Quit Fails. It sounds a lot like what I do when I try to play a parkour map. Captain Wolf Chop. Now, I'm definitely a fan of pork chops, but I don't know about wolf chops. That sounds a little sketch to me. But I don't judge. I don't judge. Whatever floats your boat, man. So there we have it. Captain Wolf Chop. The sun card. I will take that. Actually, I will go ahead and pop the world card here real quick. I was indeed going the wrong way, so we will go here. So yes, Captain Wolf Chop. Uh, pr sorry if I mispronounce this. Balant Gyrmathy? Gyrmathy? Something like that. In before Desu. Now that's some kind of internet reference that I've heard before, but I don't quite get. But yeah, in before Desu. <laughs> Um, what else we got? Oh, oh, I shouldn't look away when I'm trying to kill a mob that reproduces. Okay, y'all are dead. I'm doing so crazy much damage. Uh, Golden Twister, Dash JS4, Penguin Ethan San, 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 whatever, Razor 783, and Ansem 505. So thank you so much to all you people who have subscribed recently. If you wouldn't mind saying hi in the comments so I get to hear from you. Um, I love hearing how you found out about the channel. I know a lot of people have come to me through proxy because they've come to her through like Amlip or Vex or someone like that. Um, whatever the case may be, I'd love to hear where you guys came from, how you found out about me, and why you chose to stick around. It's really important for me to know what I'm doing correctly so that I can keep doing those things. So I would really appreciate that if you guys wouldn't mind. And like I said, if I didn't mention you just now and you have subscribed recently and you haven't been in a, in a different sub shout out, definitely let me know so I can fix that in the future. So there you have it. That is the, subs the subscriber shout out slash channel update for early October 2013, the, uh, ooh, the date of which I can't quite think of right now because I'm playing a video game and I'm a derp and I'm also a male so my brain can only handle so many things at a time. <laughs> I'll be honest. Look at this damage. Oh, it's, this is beautiful. If I could get a uh, Polyphemus, <laughs> people would be dying. Let's just say that much. And I have all the keys in the world, so obviously I'm going to be popping chests open left and right for such a thing as that. And I'll take that stuff. So yeah, that's it for the, the updates and all that. I'm going to go ahead and keep playing because I'm fairly close to finishing this run anyway. Might as well. So if you guys enjoy Binding of Isaac content, feel free to stick around and we'll, we'll see how this ends up. I can't imagine I'll lose, especially with the Sun card, but I suppose crazier things have happened. The Empress said, uh, nah, I don't care. Better to hold on to the Sun. If you are unfamiliar, the Sun is a card that works as both the map and the compass, so it'll show me everything on this floor. <laughs> Plus, oh dang it. Plus, it'll do a bunch of damage to whatever enemies happen to be in the room that I use it on. Plus, it'll heal me to full red heart health. So, it's kind of a god tier card. It's like the best you can pick up for most situations. I guess if you're running on nothing but spirit hearts, then it's not nearly as useful. Oh gosh, I didn't react fast enough. You know, with my stats being as crazy as they are, I really should not be taking so much damage. I blame you guys, though. You always expect me to talk to you and crap. And I'm a guy, so my brain can only do so many things at once. We've been over this. Okay, this is not the right way to go. Yeah, sometimes with Binding of Isaac, a run just comes together despite <laughs> how badly you're playing. And this is a testament to that. Sometimes you can be playing amazingly and you just don't get a good item literally to save your life. Uh, thankfully, this is not one of those times. This is a much better time, much more fun to play. I have had runs where I get to like the third or fourth floor and I just quit because I know it's not going anywhere. I haven't gotten any good items and I just don't have much of a chance at that point. But this this run, it's, it's just been sunny side up basically since I started. I mean, the first item was Rage, Bloody Lust. So 
obviously you're off to a good start at that point. It's not the best item I could think of, but it's definitely a very strong item that I love to have. Especially for boss fights, that's uh, like mom boss fights where they, you know, continually generate enemies. Oh man, you just start to, to steamroll snowball after a while. Okay. This is Monstro 2. He is a more annoying variant of Monstro. And if you haven't noticed, Monstro is the guy that falls down on enemies whenever I hit spacebar um, with that tooth item I have. Okay, more angel fetuses. Ah! He spawned right on top of me. Thankfully, he didn't do any damage to me. What a cheaty bugger. Get out of here, cheaty bugger. He's trying to do the same thing, and then he drops a live bomb on me. Come on, game. Let's go ahead and give them a tooth, aka a monstro. Took out three of them for me. This item recharges pretty fast, so I don't mind using it for uh, non-boss enemies. I probably could have been doing that a lot sooner. Okay, I have three options. I'm gonna go down here first. I feel like this is gonna be the correct way to go. Okay, we have two Lokis. Loki. This this person thing creature right here. What I like to do with these guys is keep my distance, focus on one at a time, try to simplify the equation a bit. That bomb fly blew open the door for me, so I could just leave, but in case I need to backtrack, I'd rather have this room. What? I'd rather have this room clear. Boom, boom, penny. Aha, here we go. Alright, so. Let's see, my space bar isn't charged. Not a big deal. I have 12 bombs. Um. Now, sadly, I'm not going to be able to get the shield from the Polaroid because I do have a lot of red hearts still. If when I get hit, I don't—I mean, I don't have a lot of defense. I just have that one cube of meat. So when I get hit, it would be wise for me to try to run up to Isaac real quick and touch him because I have poison touch. That would do a little bit of extra damage to him. And if I have the the wherewithal to handle it, I could also drop a bomb at the same time. Oh. Okay, that worked. I poisoned him, I bombed him. A little extra damage. That's what he gets for hitting me. I'm not shooting crazy fast, so his retaliation shots aren't the worst. Oh, plus I think the big deal is I've got Gish with me, little Gish. So he's he's slowing Isaac every once in a while. And that also slows his shots, thank you. So this oops, this boss fight shouldn't be too hard go. He's already in his final form. Yeah, with his cheaty angels and his cheaty beams of light from heaven. Ow. Okay, now I'm taking damage. I'm definitely going to get him, but I'm going to lose most of my spirit hearts in the process, which is a little frightening. But I should... Oh, crap. I should be able to save my sun card for the blue baby boss fight. So I should be... I should just be fine. Be just fine. And a couple more shots, and you are dead, sir. And now, let's go see what items we get from the four... The chest chests. Sucky. 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 Mm, we'll see if this is sucky or not. I have good pills. Health up. Not sucky. Okay, so out of those four guaranteed item chests, I got a health up. Which technically could be worse. Oh, gosh. Speaking of worse... No, you failed me. Oh, I'm going to lose health on this room. Oh, I'm going to lose health. Oh, wait, no. I can fly. <laughs> I totally forgot. Okay, I should be fine. Sometimes the knockback from tears really interacts strangely with uh, Super Lust here. Like, it'll knock them towards me instead of away. But things seem to be going pretty well. But yeah, if you have to fight double Super Lust and you can't fly... You're gonna you're gonna have a bad time. You're gonna take some damage because of the uh, the creep path they leave behind. All right. Well, this will get me back up to full health. Oh, boink. Um, I don't think I'm gonna bother carrying that with me though, to be quite honest. Okay. So now we've got a couple different deadly sins. We've got greed. We've got lust. We've got wrath. Eesh. I like to take out lust first because lust is fast, and she can kind of sneak up on you. And depending on who you kill last, you'll get different drops. So if I kill Wrath last, I should get, or I have a chance of getting bomb drops. If I kill Greed last, I have a chance of getting cash drops, so on and so forth. 
And then I'm not exactly sure what lost might drop. Because I already have Poison Touch. There we go. Got a bomb drop. And let's just see if there's a secret room there. Nope. 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 Give me Monstros too. Let's go. Oh, that's a dead end. Ugh. Double, um... Oh, what is this enemy? It's not the Widow, is it? No, the Widow's one of the spider bosses. What is this enemy? I know I hate it. Ah! Wow, how did I dodge that? I know I hate this enemy, mostly because of the poison poop. Yeah, mostly because of the poison poop. There we go, one down. I wish I had piercing tears. Cupid's arrow? Oh, that is one of my all-time favorite items. Just because of bosses like this. And if you have to fight Mask of Infamy, mm, so good. There we go, and we get a live bomb for our troubles. Thank you so much, game. And more d d double super lost. That uh, that little gish proc there, that kind of saved my butt. Saved my final remaining half spirit heart. I'm not going to use Monstro's Tooth on these because they're just too fast. I tried it last time, and... Monstro didn't drop on them in time before they moved on from their previous position, so it's probably going to be a waste if I try it again. I could probably try when they're slowed, but whatevs. They don't have super high health. Oh, pill, which is tears up. I've gotten a number of these throughout the game. Pew, 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 pew. Alright, this one shouldn't be too hard. Again, this is a fast variant, so I'm probably not going to use Monstro's too but it's also a very low health variant, so it should be going down without too terribly much trouble. Oh, especially once I kill all these flies, I did still take some, oh gosh, still took some damage. Now I'm doing crazy damage. There we go. All right, so down to red hearts. Thankfully, I'll go ahead and drop my tooth. Oh, good job, Monstro. Thankfully, I do have my card still, so I'll be able to get to full health. So I'm going to leave Gluttony for last, because Gluttony has a chance to drop heart items. So, could drop um, a health upgrade, or could drop spirit hearts. Obviously, I don't need red hearts, but I'd like to at least take the chance, because I need that more than uh, I need money. What do we get? What do we get? Ah, uh, just red hearts. Alright, here we go. So, I can take six hits before I needed to pop the sun card. And I'm guessing six hits is about as many as I took last time, if that. Now, the really nice thing here is that um, Blue Baby spawns those flies, which I believe should work into my Bloody Lust pretty well to give me more damage over the course of this fight. It's definitely a little tougher than the Isaac boss fight, but really not a lot tougher. Oh, that was dumb. I just kind of stood there and took that one. Oh, and then I knocked the bomb away. But did still get the poison damage going. So this should be a fairly easy boss fight. As long as I pay attention to my health and don't forget to pop my card when and if I need to. Should... Uh, I, thought, I thought I got hit by his shot, so I went ahead and rushed in there. And actually, I think once I get him really close to death, I'm just going to go ahead and pop my card and kill him that way just for style points, like right now! Woohoo! Style points! And I don't even need this. So there you go, another successful Isaac run. I've honestly been really lucky every time I record an Isaac run, I get crazy good luck. I don't know why that is, because when I play it on my free time, sometimes I get really sucky Binding of Isaac runs. It happens. So, uh, while the credits are rolling here, really quick recap. Um, some series have ended, like Call of Cthulhu, and UT3 is just about to end. Uh, stay tuned for more Eldritch, and then The Walking Dead coming out in about a week as of this video. Um, check out the teaser if you haven't seen it already. I've got a project coming up with Amazing Blue Chip and some other collabs. And then once Minecraft 1.7 comes out, I'll be playing Night Owl again. I'm really excited to get together with all those guys again. And I'm working on a custom map a small puzzle map. You guys should follow me on Twitter so you can get updates about that and just, you know, random questions that I'm looking for feedback on and videos that are going up, things like that. Follow me on Twitter. Did I mention that? <laughs> yes, I did. I know that. And then some old series you should check out. Great Survival Maze. 
Commander Keen, my cost server SMP LP, lots, lots of, uh, of acronyms there, and then just old custom maps in general if those interest you. Fan art is awesome and I want more of it because it's so much fun to get. And then hello to all you beautiful new subscribers. And sorry again to those of you that I lost um, by losing that list. I hope to hear from you in the comments so that I know who you are and I can give you credit for joining next time. Alright, <laughs> so that was probably a really long-winded channel update, but hey, might as well get it all out of the way at once, right? So, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the run, hope you got some useful information out of the updates, and I'll see you guys next time.